it's an emotional time for sure, and it's a great time for myself and my family. I want to thank Jim Dolan for this incredible opportunity to come home and lead the New York Rangers. I really want to thank Glenn Sather. He's a friend, a former teammate many years ago in St. Louis. And I look forward to leaning on Glenn and especially the experience that he's been able to build up during his career, a Hall of Fame career in the National Hockey League. Thanks, Glenn. It's no secret that New York has always been a, held a very special place in my heart. This is the only organization I would ever have left Columbus for. I would like to thank John P. McConnell, Mike Priest, and the entire Columbus Blue Jackets organization. Columbus is a great city. The Blue Jackets are a very proud club, and I wish them all the best. They're in very good hands. Also, I'd like to thank the St. Louis Blues. When I left the network here many years ago, I went to St. Louis, and we got into a build to try to build a hockey club. The city of St. Louis and the Blues organization were very good to us. I'd like to wish them all the best, and it looks like it will be a great series with the Blues and the Boston Bruins, two terrific hockey clubs for the Stanley Cup final. After meeting with Jim last, I think it was last week, it was very clear that we, say, that we share the same vision. I want to uh, continue what's been started here, and that's to build the Rangers to become perennial Stanley Cup contenders. They're doing it the right way. Jim is a man who wants to win. He wants to do it right. And we're on the same page. General Manager Jeff Gorton and his staff have worked very hard over the last two years to build the foundation that's in place. It puts us in a great position to be aggressive as we continue to improve. Being in the same division as the Rangers over the last six and a half years. Yes, I watched a lot of Ranger games. My good friend Sam, of course Joe and Al and the whole crew. It, what became very noticeable in watching those games is what's already been established. And that's the identity that New Yorkers love. It's a team that works, a team that plays hard, and a team that plays the game the right way, and I credit Coach David Quinn and his staff for doing exactly that. And we're going to continue to improve in that area. That is very, very important. I can't tell you how important it is to have the proper culture in an organization to try to win hockey games, and they've certainly done a terrific job in creating that already. Thanks to my family. My wife, of course, as, as John mentioned, is here. My daughter is here. My other daughter couldn't make it. Very sad for her, but... She knows uh, that she'll get her chance to visit us in New York in the very near future. There's a lot of work to do here. There's no shortcuts. It's nothing but hard work. And it takes patience and resolve. And I really want to make sure that I use the word patience and I use the word resolve because we're going to be in a battle here to get this club to be better. But you have to be patient when you go through a build like this. It's just what it is. I've had the great opportunity to do it twice, once in St. Louis, once in Columbus. We have a great staff here. We've got already many young pieces in place. We're going to get them. They're going to be stars in the National Hockey League, and the Rangers are going to be better for it. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming out today. And yes, for me, dreams come true.